Once the balloon has been inflated, to deflate the balloon uh, requires a few easy steps that we'll go over now. So inside the balloon pocket here where the Venturi valve is, we're going to unzip this mesh covering to expose the Venturi valve. On top of the valve is a rubberized cap and then inside that is the valve that we're going to push to deflate. You're going to need to hold your finger on that valve until the air is completely out of the balloon. You'll need to squeeze it and fold it and push the air out to get it all out. The more air that you can get out of the balloon, the easier it will be to repack and fold the balloon. So once, once we've depressed the valve, we're going to need to keep it depressed so we can deflate the balloon to the best of our ability. We really want to try and get all of the air out that we can, and it'll take a second to do it. With all of the air out, it then becomes much easier to repack the balloon. Now, if you were caught and carried in an avalanche, we ask that you send the pack and the balloon system back to the Mammoth Warranty Department for inspection. All right, so once we have deflated the balloon, we need to repack it into the pack itself. And to do that, I'm gonna lay the pack in this configuration here. I'm gonna bring the balloon over top of the backpack. I'm going to try and make this as smooth as possible. So I'm going to make sure all the kinks and the wrinkles uh, are out. I'm going to work one side to the other. Doesn't matter which side you start with, but once I fold it over, I'm going to bring one wing or one side of the balloon back on top of itself like this. Again, I'm going to straighten it out and make sure that it is as smooth and seamless as possible. That same wing, I'm going to fold back on itself again to create this accordion fold. And then I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. I'll bring this wing over top, make sure that it is smooth, and then I'm going to accordion fold that same wing back on top of itself. I'm going to bring those together as narrow as possible. This has to go back into the pack itself. So the tighter I can get it in this pre-folding phase, the better it's gonna go, the easier it's gonna go into the pack. So at this point, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna place it on the top end of the backpack right here, right on top of the balloon system. I'm gonna grab the folding end here and I'm gonna fold it over top of my hand. And bring this hand on top of that press down, and this is just so I can maintain pressure on the balloon so it doesn't unfold on itself. And I'm just going to start to accordion fold the balloon until I get it into appropriate or approximately the same size as the compartment that it needs to go into in the pack. So from this point, I'm just going to slide the balloon into its compartment. I'm going to reset the zipper so it's ready to go. Once I have that balloon kind of secured enough that I can start the zipper, I'll do that. Okay, so once I get the zipper started, I'm just going to start to work the balloon back into the right here making sure that it's not twisted and that I'm keeping it folded. I'm just going to work the zipper all the way across through those yellow teeth, close the velcro so it holds it in place, and then just very carefully work that zipper all the way through till I can close up the compartment. And once I get the zipper all the way closed, I'm going to take that zipper pull. And I'm going to put it inside that red tab so it doesn't unintentionally come open. At that point, the balloon is back in the pack. Straighten out the collar. 
And then of course I will need to replace the cartridge and make sure I have a full air cartridge for the next time I use the pack. So that is how you repack uh, a deployed balloon. And um, again, if it was something that you were caught and carried in an avalanche, we ask that you send that back to warranty for inspection. And you can find that information on the mammoth.com website. Okay, thank you very much. Be safe.